arms out as far as you can without the shoulder talking to you, okay? So we're going all the way out. Now, if you take the arms all the way to the floor, it really ends up being too much for the shoulder joint. So just almost to the floor works just fine. Now, the goal here is to do a set of eight to 15 reps. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, 15 today. You're doing great. So you take the arms open, bring them back in. See, the thing about this workout, you're gonna be able to do this. You could do this workout at the gym. You could do this workout at home. All you need is your weights. You can even do the exercises without weights in the beginning. Good. I think we've got five more. Here's five. And four. And three. Don't forget to breathe. It's inhale, exhale here. One more. All the way up. And release. You can bring the weights to your side and come all the way up. So what we want to do is work our opposing muscle group. We just worked chest muscles. Now we want to work our back muscles. So as I'm coming up, let's think about when you're working the muscle group. We have lots of muscles in the back, but today we're going to work your rhomboids, your upper back muscles. So you kind of bring your legs together. You want to always make sure your abdominals are engaged. And our weights are at our side. And if you notice, I'm rounding my back and here's a flat back. You really wanna to try to get into more of a flat back. So I'm in a flat back, <clears throat> got my shoulders down, arms are at my side, and I'm gonna pull straight up to the side. Just pull those weights up. Now my legs are straight. You could put a slight bend in them if that feels better. Don't stress your hamstrings out too much. Good, and pull the weights up to the side. Abdominals are tight, glide your shoulders down your back. Keep rowing. These are upper back rows right here. Let's go, let's do eight more just like this. Here's eight and seven, six. Make sure your head's not drooping down, but in alignment with your spine. Good, four more. Here's four and three, two and last one and release, good. Now, what I've done, we did one set for the um, chest. We did one set for the back. Now we're gonna move on and do shoulder work. You could do up to three sets for the chest and for the back, but for day's workout, we're doing one. For the shoulders, shoulders are actually pretty small muscle. We have the front, middle, and back. And so that's why I've grabbed my light weights because my shoulder muscles are not very big. So the first exercise we're gonna do is an exercise for the front part of your shoulder. Your arms up, so I've got my light weights, my arms are at my side, and I'm gonna lift to the front. Good, and take it up and down together, just like this. Now you don't wanna to lift too high, and you're working the front part of the shoulder as the arm comes up. A variation might be to lift one arm and then the other, Lifting together makes it a little more challenging. Good, let's do five more and turn the thumbs up. And again, we're gonna go up, good. Three more, here's three, last two, and one, good. Okay, we've worked the front part, now we're gonna work medial deltoid muscles right here in the sides. For medial deltoids, we're gonna do lateral raises. So using your posture, your abdominals are engaged, glide your shoulders down your back and lift your arms to the side. For lateral raises, again, I'm starting with light weights. It is okay to use the middle weights or even the heavier weights here. You just might not do as many reps. Now, you don't want to lift your arms too high above the shoulder. That can really talk to the shoulder. The other thing is sometimes when I lift with heavier weights here, my shoulder makes a noise, like a little popping. So just don't lift the weights as high. So you have lots of choices here. But lift them right now to the side and really talk to those muscles. Shall we do eight more? Eight and seven. Here's six and five. Last four and three. Woo! Here's two. One more, you can do it. And one and release. All right, the shoulders are talking, but we're not done with them yet. We've worked the front, 
the middle. Now we're going to work the back side, the posterior deltoid. So for this exercise, what you can do is you get your, your legs are in warrior stance. One leg's in front, one leg's kind of to the back. Dumbbells begin in the front. It's basically a reverse fly. We were just on the floor bringing the weights up to the chest. Now we're taking it to the back. So we're going to lift and release just a little. Lift and release a little. Now what we've got going here is you're now talking to a little bit of the back, but mainly that shoulder. Now notice I'm not pulling with the elbows like this, okay? That's a different exercise. Your arm stays really long. It's not locked. You don't want a straight arm. Just a little slight bend in the elbow. Stay with me now. Six more, six. Here's five. You want to make sure your head isn't dropping down, but it's in alignment with your spine. Last two. And give me one more. Woo! And release. Good job. Okay, that's shoulders. All of the shoulders. Next exercise is we're going to do biceps. Now, biceps are really strong. They make us feel strong. They can usually handle a lot of weight. The extra, so the weight I'm going to use today is the eight-pound weight. Now, listen to how many reps I'm going to give you. Don't do too many because there's going to be a different, we're going to work the biceps in different ways. Let's begin with uh, arm curls, eight arm curls. Widen the collarbone, engage your abdominals, and lift to work the biceps. Just good old bicep curls, two. Just for eight, and we're going to change it up a little bit. Three. And four. Here's five. And six. And seven. And last one, eight. Good. Okay, that's eight bicep curls. All right, here's your second set. Now listen up, it's only gonna be the lower half. So we start low and just go to the middle. So up to halfway and back down, eight of these. Here's seven and six and five. Here's four and three, two and one. Good. All right, that's your second set of bicep. Now for your third, you're going to go middle to the top. So we start halfway and we're going to the very top for eight. And let's begin. Here's one and only halfway down, not all the way. Here's two and three and four, five, six, seven, one more, eight and release. Okay, here's the kicker. We have one more full range bicep curls, eight of them. So let's begin our uh, dumbbells all the way at the bottom. Glide your shoulders down your back. Abs are in tight and full range for eight. Now I know your arms are talking to you, but they should feel good and they're strong. And this is how you get a toned muscle as you lift these weights. Here's four more and three and two, last one, and eight. Whoo, good job, nicely done. All right, now we're gonna do, bi uh, not bicep, we just did bicep, we're gonna do tricep extend, uh, kickbacks. So I'm gonna show you without the weights before we get going. So again, you're gonna be in warrior stance, you're gonna have your elbows back, you're gonna hold, we're gonna hold the five pound dumbbells and do a kickback, which is here. You wanna hold your abs in and press back. When you're in a time crunch, it's good to use uh, both dumbbells at the same time.